Hey Trailblazers, welcome back to TDA, your ultimate destination for mastering Salesforce through engaging tutorials and hands-on guides. If you're looking to take your permission management skills to the next level, you're in the right place. Today, we're exploring the mute permissions in Permission Set Groups module on Trailhead. Let's dive in and uncover how muting permissions can enhance your Salesforce admin capabilities. In this module, mute permissions in permission set groups. You'll learn how to customize permission set groups by disabling specific permissions. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to describe why you might mute a permission, mute permissions within a permission set group, whether you're aiming to fine tune user access or streamline your permission management, this module provides the tools you need to maintain control and flexibility in your Salesforce org. First, what exactly is muting? Earlier in this module, you discovered that permission set groups allow you to bundle permission sets based on job functions. These groups include all permissions from their included permission sets and can even include a permission set in multiple groups. But what if you don't want to assign every permission from a particular permission set to users in a group? That's where muting comes into play. Muting permission sets enables you to customize a permission set group by disabling selected permissions within it. You can mute object, field, and user permissions, as well as other access settings. Importantly, each permission set group can have up to one muting permission set, providing you with significant flexibility without complicating your permission structure. By utilizing muting permission sets, you enhance reusability. Instead of creating numerous similar permission sets with slight variations, you can use a single permission set and mute specific permissions as needed for different user roles. For example, include all permissions related to a task or feature in one permission set, then use muting within permission set groups to tailor access according to each user's role. Next, let's explore why you might want to mute permissions. There are several scenarios where muting can be incredibly beneficial. Avoiding permission. Overlap. When a permission set contains permissions that some users shouldn't have within a specific group, Muting ensures that only the necessary permissions are active. Maintaining permission integrity. By muting permissions instead of altering existing permission sets, you preserve the integrity of those sets for other groups or users who may need the full range of permissions. Simplifying permission management. Muting reduces the need to create multiple permission sets for slight variations in permissions making your overall permission structure cleaner and more manageable. Now, let's delve into how you can mute permissions within a permission set group. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you through the process. Accessing permission set groups. Log into your Salesforce org and click on the gear icon in the top right corner. Select Setup from the drop-down menu. In the quick find box, type Permission Set Groups and select it from the results. Selecting the permission set group. Click on the name of the permission set group you wish to modify, such as sales processing, which you created earlier. Adding a muting permission set. Under the permission set section, click on muting permission set in group. Click the new button to create a new muting permission set. Configuring the muting permission set. For the label, Enter something descriptive like contracts, permissions muted. The API name will auto-populate based on your label. You can adjust it if necessary. Click Save to create the muting permission set. Selecting permissions to mute. Click on the name of your newly created muting permission set. In the Find Settings box, type Contracts and select Contracts from the dropdown. Click Edit and mute the view all and modify all object permissions. Save your changes. Repeat the process for delete activated contracts by entering it in the Find Settings box, selecting it, clicking Edit, 
and muting the specific permission under sales. Save your changes to finalize the muting process. Great. Now, when you add or update permissions in the sales contracts permission set, the muted permissions in the sales processing group will ensure that users only have access to what they need. This approach avoids modifying existing permission sets, which could inadvertently affect other users and eliminates the need to create new, potentially redundant permission sets. Next, let's discuss some important considerations when muting permissions. Scope of muting. When you mute a permission within a permission set group, it only affects users assigned to that specific group. Users who have the same permissions through other means, such as directly assigned permission sets or profiles, remain unaffected. Permission dependencies. Muting certain permissions can impact dependent permissions. For example, if you mute the read permission for an object, permissions like create, edit or delete that rely on read will also be muted. Always review the permission dependencies to ensure you're not inadvertently restricting necessary access. Impact on user access. If a user is assigned to a permission set group with muted permissions, but also has those permissions through another permission set or their profile, the user retains those permissions despite the muting. This layered approach allows for flexible permission management, but requires careful planning to avoid conflicts. Visibility in summaries. Both the user access summary and permission set. Group summary reflect the effects of muting permission sets. This visibility helps you monitor and verify the effective permissions users have. Now, let's explore how muting works within installed packages. If you subscribe to a managed package, you might receive permission sets from an independent software vendor, ISV. Suppose an update introduces a new field permission that you're not ready to adopt. Muting allows you to include the managed permission set in your group while disabling the new field permission until you're prepared to enable it. This way, you can benefit from package updates without immediately granting access to new features, maintaining control over your org's security and functionality. Let's put this into practice with a hands-on challenge. We'll walk through muting permissions in a permission set group using the sales processing group you created earlier. Here's what you'll need to do. Create a muting permission set. From setup, type permission set groups in the quick find box and select it. Click on Sales Processing, the permission set group you created in Unit 2. Under Permission Sets, click on Muting Permission Set in Group. Click New, label it Contracts, Permissions Muted, and save it. Select Permissions to Mute. Click on Contracts, Permissions Muted. In the Find Settings box, type Contracts and select Contracts. Click Edit and mute the View All and Modify All Object permissions if you haven't. Then mute the Edit and Delete permissions as well. Save your changes. Awesome job on completing the hands-on challenge. You have successfully muted specific permissions within a permission set group, ensuring that users have only the access they need without overstepping their roles. Before we wrap up, let's touch on muting and permission dependencies. When you mute a permission, any dependent permissions are also affected. For example, if you mute the read permission for an object, permissions like create, edit, or delete that rely on read will automatically be muted as well. Always pay attention to the permission change confirmation messages to understand how muting impacts other permissions. To summarize, muting permissions within permission set groups offers you enhanced flexibility and control over user access. It allows you to tailor permissions precisely to user roles, maintain security best practices, and streamline permission management without creating redundant permission sets. If you found this video helpful, 
give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tutorials. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Check out the description below for links to the Trailhead modules and additional resources to further enhance your Salesforce skills. Keep trailblazing and I'll see you in the next video.